guys happy wednesday and welcome back to another daily vlog we are currently in the office and it is 10 22 in the morning so i've been up i got up a little bit late i kind of slept in to about i'm gonna sat and start working to about eight o'clock i woke up from about 7 15 7 30 or so you know i've been staying up late watching tv i should be reading which i'm not ask me have i finished that book i have not I have not. I have not. So now I'm probably still five books behind. Don't talk about me. It is what it is. <laughs> so I've been up watching movies instead of reading. And I'm currently doing laundry. Just got out of um, working on something. Answering emails. I have another meeting in probably about five minutes at 1030. And then after that, I think I'm pretty clear for the rest of the day until freaking 3 30 i have a meeting at 3 30 but we need to have this meeting with our ts and that was the only time he was available so i gotta suck it up um sometime during my lunch break i want to go to the thrift store and drop off um these uh thrift items or these donation items so you guys saw last week in the vlog i had went ahead and um broke down those boxes and took them to my mom's house so now what needs to go to head of home is these this needs to actually go in the trash but i'm gonna take it anyway so this right here that black bag all of these binders this desk not this stuff on top of the desk i actually just need to put that away i just did my fall decorations you guys saw that um video already um last sunday and um so these are the like summer spring stuff i need to put away and then over here i have this tray is not going, but some stuff to give away that needs to go to Hannah home as well. And then I need to clean up this corner, figure out what I'm going to do with it or whatnot. I need to put these up back where they go. Uh, I need to change out my plant. My plant is so heavy, y'all. It broke the pot. Like, this is a plastic pot, so it, like, fell over and all the dirt fell out. I got up this morning. I'm like, what the hell? And so that's what happened this morning. <laughs> So heavy it broke the pot because it's plastic so i need to repot this one but she's growing like crazy do you see all of these new leaves like these are all new like all new this one's coming in the new right there new one's coming in right here new one's coming right there like she's growing like freaking crazy now this one's not growing like crazy so i don't know what this one's got the magic sauce over here or some child but it's growing all out crazy um so yeah, that's what I'm doing. And I need to go check on my clothes right quick. And then I'm gonna go ahead and open up the curtains here in the den. I try to get some light in the den because we don't really come in here as much as we used to. Now that the kids aren't here, but I need to start utilizing this area a little bit more. Cause it's so nice and I got it all together. And so I wanna be able to use it. I don't ever have no company or nothing, so it's not like nobody sits in here but me. Sometimes I'll sit in there, like I said, on my lunch break and do whatever. Now, this plant is not growing. It's it's the same plant as the other big one that's growing like crazy, but this just got a new leaf. Um, I think this part's finna die, but she needs a new pot, too. I think she's, her pot is not big enough, so I think she's stifled, and she's over here where she gets no light. When I rearranged the dining room, you know, everything was by the window in the dining room and it was thriving. But since I got the doors, they're not in there anymore. And it's kind of too late for me to put them outside because I should have put them out there this summer, but I didn't um, do it. So I need to get this together as well um, and get it a new pot. And I think I'm going to put it in this pot right here. So this pot is available for me to put it in. I need to check on the dirt. Maybe take it out, rotate it, mix it with some fresh dirt, and then potter in here. And then that pot right there, I think I have, I think I'm going to put my ZZ plant in there. Because this ZZ plant, like, she's about to outgrow her pot too. So, and then there's another one. So, I might put them all in one pot. So, this one is in a little pot by itself. And then this one was one, but it grew into like three or four more. And then these have always been in a little pot, so they're never going to grow. So maybe one of them I'll move into this pot and let it grow probably this one or either this one. I don't know yet. So 
it's really just time. Pots are so expensive though. I didn't realize pots were that expensive. Yeah, your girl wasn't ready for how much pots cost. I need to go to the thrift store and see if I can find some pots to put these plants in on the low low. But I'm gonna get ready for my meeting. I'm gonna check on my laundry. And then I will, sorry, I was like, what is that light? I left the light on the bathroom. I will talk to you guys a little bit later. Do guys, see. so we are finished with our meetings. So we had, no, we only have one. Just finished with it. I'm hungry. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to make a bagel or if I'm going to go ahead and make me some avocado toast. I feel like I need something filling today because I'm probably going to have a lot to do today. So I need to make sure that I eat and be prepared my body <laughs> to do some strenuous work today and get out in this freaking heat. Gosh, I just can't wait till it cools down some. I know I'm putting up fall decorations, but my God, it's still so freaking hot out here in this world y'all so we're gonna make some avocado toast i also need to go to walmart i have no more honey so i haven't been able to make any of my chai latte you guys know i don't sweeten my um teas or anything with anything but natural 100 percent honey i do not use sugar any longer and i haven't used sugar in like years um i think the only time i do it is when I actually get it from Starbucks or somewhere else because I don't think they use honey. I think they do simple syrup or something, child. A bunch of sugar. But honey has sugar in too, but at least it's natural <laughs> sugar. Is that better? I don't know. I'm just trying to make myself feel better. Y'all no, no need to say anything, okay? Um, so I'm going to make me some avocado toast. Probably drink some water since we don't have nothing to drink with it. Uh, first set of laundry is in the dryer. You can hear it. Second set of laundry is in the washing machine. And then I will probably have a third and a fourth. So the third will be whatever clothes I missed because there's some in my closet I need to get. And then the fourth will be like towels and stuff um, that need to be washed and put away. And then hopefully uh, by the time all that's done, it'll be lunchtime. And then I can go ahead and throw everything in my car and go ahead and take at least the first round to the, um, what's it called? The thrift store and while i'm out i can stop at walmart and get me some honey so we can make a big batch of chai um in my little glass jug thing um so we can have that for a little while i probably need to get a bag of ice and i probably need to make a list just to make sure i don't need some other things i think i need some more salad um for my salad dressing some cucumbers i want to get one of those things that chop up the things into cubes for you. You know how you just put it in there and you push it down and it cubes everything all nice and cute. I need to get one now. I need to go on Amazon and get me one. Oh, that's another thing I need. I return this stuff to Amazon. Might not do it today. It might be tomorrow. Uh, I need to return this stuff to Amazon and I need to reorder some stuff because everything that I picked out for Rome is ugly, ugly, and more ugly, okay? Or don't fit right or just a hot ass mess. Like why? Like one of them is too little. I'm gonna think I'm gonna get it in an extra large if it comes in time because I actually really like it. It's a really nice dress for the occasion. The other one, I, I I think I need to go down a size. I got a large, but it's because it's flowy. It looks really like makes me look bigger. So I think I need to go down a size. But I don't know if I really even like it that much to even do all that. And then the blue and white one was just horrific. <laughs> this is fucking ugly. Okay. The only thing that worked out was the pink sweater. That's about it. Um. So back to the drawing board. We only got less than less than a month we only got what two three more weeks so i gotta get on it so that's what's going on right now i just want to check in with you guys and um let y'all know where we're at in the day so i hope to get a lot of things done and a lot of stuff cleared out from over here um the rest of this week um because i have all of my fall stuff here and the buckets that need to go up i'm thinking maybe thursday which is tomorrow i go ahead and decorate this area for fall in the tea station and get the other fall video out i really want to do my dining room table like with some plates and stuff but i haven't found anything i like because of course i waited i didn't really wait to the last minute i mean i can always still make another video because clearly it's not the first day of fall at all but i also wanted to decorate my den this year i saw a nice like fall reef kind of lead thing on the what i think called the fireplace with some big pumpkins and stuff so i really want to look into doing that um and i went to hobby lobby and i found some nice leaf garlands that's in that burnt orange kind of brown kind of yellowishly color but baby the line was ridiculous they had one cashier it was worse than walmart and i wasn't finna stay in that line i was not finna stay in that line 
just to pay for them three things because the other garland that I went to get in there for Christmas, they didn't even have. Like my friend posted on Instagram that she had gotten it and it was 50% off this this month. So I wanted to get it because it's like $99 so I could get three, you know, for a very good price. But they didn't even have it at my store. So now I'm just like, uh. So I didn't end up coming out. I wanted to come out there with that garland, but I didn't get a chance to get it. So because I wasn't waiting in that line. Like, I don't know why y'all had one damn cashier. And y'all know everything 40 and 50% off for Christmas. You know everybody their mama's going to be up in there. Where was y'all people at? That part. But anyway, just getting out a little frustration. <laughs> don't mind me. <laughs> anyway, let me make me some breakfast. And I'll be back. A brunch or whatever you want to call it. We finna eat. <laughs> Alright guys, as you see, I'm still in my pajamas. I'm still in my office. Still working. So we ate. Avocado toast. Chilled out for a minute. And then we came back and did some work. So I didn't go anywhere for lunch. I didn't pack up the car or anything. So we're probably going to have to do an after work activity with that. Um, I am in my office. I'm watching TV. Um, and I'm working on work. Which I, of course I can't show you that screen. Um, because it's highly HIPAA. Because I work for a hospital. But I just wanted to check in with you guys. But I know y'all like, Kelsha, where you at? Like you said you was going to the thrift store and to the grocery store and to the Walmart and all the places and we ain't seen you because I ain't went yet. I ain't went yet. I ain't went yet. Okay, I'm going. I'm going. So I have a meeting, like I said, from 3.30 to 4. So as soon as that meeting is over, we're going to take the rest of the evening to run the errands and get a lot, as much stuff I, as I can done um, to drop off some returns, um, go to Walmart, go by the thrift store, drop off some stuff. I probably have to make more than one trip and um, possibly pick us up something to eat while we're out. Of course, my favorite gyro place is over there, so we might stop in there because I just love their grilled chicken salad. Even though lately they've been kind of skimpy, okay? That salad ain't cheap. And they've been being skimpy with the lettuce, okay? Put some more lettuce on here. Sir, I pay my money. I need you to put some more lettuce on here, okay? Please. Um, my salad more chicken than it is uh, veggies, so we might do that. Or I might just come home and make my own grilled chicken salad because... It's free and we got food at home. <laughs> that part. So I just wanted to check in with you guys and I'll be back around four ish or so. So I'll be back. Do this. All right, you guys. It is. It's almost 5 30. And it's about a good time to leave because the traffic is always all coming into my neighborhood and not going out. So. I'll beat the traffic and I can go out to eat and then when I come back it won't be no traffic so it's perfect. So basically this is how clean it looks now for all the stuff that I got off of um, the couch. The um, what's this thing file cabinet would not fit in my car with the desk so I had to I'm gonna have to leave it on there and then when I get back home or sometime tomorrow I will put it in the car and take it somewhere. But everything else got in the car besides the file cabinet. Then I have a couple like little penny ante things that are still needing to go to Hammer Home. So I'll take them with the file cabinet. I'm not going to worry about it. I did bring me a cup of water, y'all, because it's so freaking hot. And I am trying to stay hydrated. I did remember. To bring my book with me even though i'm in between two books and ain't but two minutes in each of the books child one of them one of them need to finish getting read up i actually think i need to finish the curvy girl because i've actually read more of the curvy girl book than i have of this one and i'll probably finish that one first so maybe i'll sit on my phone and read the curvy girl but i need to charge my phone too so i'm gonna do that but we're gonna head I think maybe in the Walmart first and then the thrift store or the opposite go to the thrift store get something to eat then go in the Walmart and head home. I think it's going to be in that order because the thrift store is past the Walmart and the place that I want to go and eat. So since it's the furthest out I can go drop everything off at the thrift store eat something right quick and then go in Walmart so because if I go into Walmart hungry y'all already know we coming out with something we ain't asked for so yeah we need to do it in that order so I'll check in with you guys in a little while hey guys, we just dropped everything off at the thrift store and now we're currently at my favorite gyro spot and we're going to get something to eat I most likely sit outside um, and eat and of course I always get a grilled chicken salad so that's what we're getting with my favorite mint tea 
Um, so I'm about to run in here, grab some food, and then we are going to then head to Walmart. I think I'm going to stop at Big Lots. I haven't been in Big Lots in a lot. I want to see what they got for fall. So I might go hit up Big Lots as well. But definitely go to Walmart at least get some honey. Because I need some honey. And I need some more bread. Uh, and I need some more peanut butter. So see, I already got a list. I'll make a list while I'm sitting here eating. And so I'll, I'll check it with you guys in a bit. All right, guys. We've made it to the gyro spot. Got my sweet tea. Sorry, it's loud. Um, I'm by the road in this busy time of the day. People getting off work, headed home. Um, but I'm just waiting for my salad to come. And then we're going to read and enjoy our little time. So lately I've been like after work trying to like go out to eat. I probably need to up my eating out budget because now that Jalen's not home and my son is doing his own thing as usual. It's like sometimes I don't want to go straight home. Like I want to, you know, stop somewhere after work and get a drink or an appetizer or something. So I think I'm going to make it like a thing when I go into work into the office. Unless I have something to do or something important to do. I'm going to make time for myself like on Mondays and Tuesdays when I definitely go into the office to have something planned. Like maybe take myself out to dinner, like I said, get a drink, get an appetizer, maybe meet up with some girlfriends. Um, because I did go to Blue Sushi yesterday after I got off work. And one of my friends sent me a message saying, Oh my goodness, you should have said something because I would have came with you. And I don't even be thinking in that mindset when I do that. So I told her next time I would try to make sure I uh, get it together. And think about other people and uh, get it in my mind to um, invite them when I'm going out. See if anybody wants to join me or meet me there for happy hour or whatever the case may be. So... Looking for me to give my salad. So as I was saying, I just trying to get out of the house and do more stuff. I need to look into the, like like the girl said a hobby like taking classes or you know going to happy hour at different places. Just experiencing getting out the house and you know possibly meeting some men folks <laughs> to be out here dating in this dating world. <laughs> this online don't seem to be working for me um, but we'll see how they go because that'll probably get old really quickly it's very expensive even though I know how to manage my money I know how to get one drink one appetizer and be on by my way like I'm just not going to spend any more money than I have or that I want to so that's never been an issue for me um, but yeah so that's what I've been thinking about and trying to you know get my life together and uh, give me some more hobbies. <laughs> I'm hungry. It's gonna be good too. So I'm gonna continue eating. And I'll check in with you guys in a bit. Girl, let the sun shine in the day. And I will leave my windows open so that I can hear the sound of people talking. So I'm back home. It is 8 o'clock. We stayed out way longer than I thought I would. So I ended up going to Big Lots, but I apologize. I got into my music and I was jamming and just walking around the store, just perusing, stayed in there way too long. But I did pick up a couple of things that I'm going to show you guys in a minute. I did not go to Walmart. I just didn't feel like it after I came out of Big Lots. I spent too much time in there, so we didn't go to Walmart. Um, but before I show you guys the haul or whatever, I'm going to go ahead and get in the shower, get my little life together, and then we'll do a haul when I get back. All right, you guys, I'm out of the shower. I'm trying to get y'all together. So, like I said, I didn't get that much from Big Lot. But what I did was just like stuff that I can use from years to come. I'm all about buying decor that can be used in any room in my house so I can mix and match. Like, say, I put in certain things in my bedroom this year. I may not want it in my bedroom next year. I can use it out in the living room or the kitchen or the den or wherever so this is the cutest pumpkin i found you guys it has a k on it so you guys know my first name starts with a k and my last name starts with a k so this is perfect it has a k on it, it looks like this this was 14.99 now 
I don't feel like it was worth $14.99, but I wanted it, so I got it anyway. Uh, don't talk about me, okay? But I love it. Um, it's so funny because at Big Lots, when she rung it up, it said that I want a protection plan. And I was like, on a pumpkin? I was like, all the stuff I got, and I mean, it's made out of wood. I don't understand what you protecting, but it's so cute. They did have like J and some other ones. If they would have had two Ks, I was debating getting two. But they didn't have two, which is good because I probably would have bought it. But isn't this cute? I don't have anything with our initials on it or our family nothing. Besides, I think in the gallery wall, I do have some kind of K up there. And then the next thing I got, well, I will go to the next sign I got or the next fall album. Y'all, I love this. When I saw it, I knew I had to put it on my console table this year. Oh, so excited. Not the one in my bedroom, the one out in the living room. I'm so excited. Look, you guys. When I saw it, I knew I had to have it. Isn't this so cute? Right up my alleyway. Definitely modern farmhouse theme in my color scheme. So I love this. So this was a little pricey. It was $29.99. But I feel like this is something I'm definitely going to be able to use all over the house. For years to come everywhere look at this detail on it isn't it absolutely stunning and i love how the a is a leaf and then this is like the embroidery or the etching in it i don't know what you call it but isn't it lovely i cannot wait because i was thinking about doing something different this year because last year i had that hello fall sign but when i saw this i was like oh i can leave that other sign up there that i have mostly all year round until i think i have a different sign for thanksgiving a different for Christmas if I'm not mistaken but I can't remember or I only have one for Christmas anyway I digress we'll talk about that later when Thanksgiving is here um but I thought about using this and put the hello fall sign somewhere else um in the house I have an idea of where I want it to go so I saw that and I had to get it and now I am so upset because she said that Big Lots had a sale was it last week? And I guess I missed it or I don't know. I don't hardly go to Big Lots anymore. But I forgot they have the best candles at really good prices. And the vessels are so stunning. So this costs $6.99 and it's called Autumn Nights. Look how gorgeous this candle is. It's like a navy blue. But it's just so simple. And then look at the top. It's like a pumpkin. Can y'all see that? Isn't it absolutely stunning? And sometimes I like to keep these tops and use them as coasters. Like, I can sit this down and I can put my drink on it and it could be a coaster. Like, I just love it when they have good, nice, decorative tops. I love to keep them. And y'all, this actually reminds me of the Bath and Body Work candle called... Ooh, what's it called? Ooh, it smells like a good man. And when I remember, if I'm editing this, editing Kiosha, remember to put the title of the... The name of the Bed and Bath Work. I can't talk. <laughs> Bath and Body Works candle name down here at the bottom. But y'all, this smells so freaking good. And I love the, you know, the glass or whatever it is. And then I got another one that's actually the same scent, but it is in a different, um, it looks different. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So it's still in the navy blue color, but they have this more of a, like, um, checkered kind of uh, what's it called a label on it versus like the clean one I do prefer this one but this one is not as busy but I, they're both the same little blue color now this one didn't come with a decorative top so I was pissed I was like where my top at but yeah this smells so good so I got two of those and they were both $6.99 and then the other one I wanted to get two of these now this is not really a fall color it's like a red um color but the name of it is Fall Sweet Fall and it's White Oak and Apple. So it looks really gorgeous. It's uh, really pretty. But I can see how it's fall. It's more like a burgundy burnt than a Christmas red. So I can see how it could be fall. And look, it even has this cute little like leaf um, on there that's like wrapped around it. It's so cute. Oh, Lord. Okay. I was like, did my thing get stuck? So I really love that. Y'all, this candle smells so good it smells sort of like apple cinnamon a little bit um to me and i love apple cinnamon so now this one was $7.99 um i'm hoping maybe they don't, we don't have that many we don't have like i think two big lots left in birmingham it's one here in trustville 
And then the other one is all the way on Green Springs in Birmingham. So I need to look up, but I feel like those are the only two big lots that I know of. Unless there's one in Hoover somewhere, but them are the only two I know of right now. I have to look it up and see. Because I definitely want to get some more candles. Oh, it smells so good, y'all. smells so good. So that's what I ended up getting from Bitlocks. And then I got some snacks because I'm that person. So if y'all want to see my snacks, this is what I got. Hold on. I got to reach over here and get it. I got some funny ones because they're my favorite. I got some ginger snaps because I'm old-fashioned and I love ginger snaps. Don't talk about me. It is what it is. And then I've been looking for this Sprite everywhere. So Sprite came out with a cherry lime Sprite. But I literally could have not been able to find it since the first time somebody told me about it. And I have not seen it yet, but they had it in big lots. So I love anything cherry, if you don't know. I love cherry pie. <laughs> <laughs> Any, I almost love anything cherry flavored. Um, just like I thought it would smell too. That's good. So I got some snacks. I'm about to watch a movie. So the movie I'm going to watch, I'm a scary movie girl. I was born on Halloween. I just love scary movies. I'm about to watch A, a Quiet Place the first day with, um, I can't, Lupe, I can't remember. I can't, I can't pronounce her first name, but y'all know who I'm talking about. So I'm about to watch A Quiet Place, eat my snack, and um, chill out for the rest of the night. But yeah, so that's what's going on with that. So I will check in with you guys a little bit later. Thank you.